Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today I will be presenting our case study on the topic of traffic flow. First of all, I would like to introduce our group members. The first one being myself, Khairi Hazim Miroslan. My student ID is 2019-401-322. The second member is Muhammad Fakhruddin bin Ali. His student ID is 2019-224-378. Introduction. There are issues that appear out of nowhere these days. Problems frequently emerge due to a lack of understanding of the underlying cause. This problem should be solved or resolved. The features of algebra matrices are used in our research to address a state problem with a huge population that creates a lot of traffic. Our goal is to figure out how much traffic there is at each intersection in Bandas Gamat, Johor. The purpose of study. The major reason we chose this subject is to gain a thorough understanding of how linear algebra is used in real life situations such as the number of vehicles passing through a single intersection. We'd like to apply a linear algebra-based method and solution that everyone can grasp. To determine the amount of individuals using each intersection, we use the elementary row operation, or also known as ERO. For the methodology, the first step is to convert the problem into a linear system. To do this, we use, we assume values into the linear system by using variables such as A, B, C or X, Y, Z. After we change it into a linear system and have values in, assuming values in it, we can change it into matrix form. After that, we can apply Gaussian elimination method, which changes the basic matrix form into an REM form or row echelon matrix, which at which then we can get value the true values of the variables that we assume from the second step. Now I would pass to Muhammad Fakhruddin to show the solution. Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Muhammad Fakhrude Ben Ali and for this presentation, I want to explain about the solution. For A, we got 400 plus X1 equal to 500 plus X4. For B, we got 400 plus X3 equal to 300 plus X1. For C, we got 200 plus X2 equal to 300 plus x3 and d we got 600 plus x4 equal to 500 plus x2 from this equation we got the linear system which is x1 minus x4 equal to 100 negative x1 plus x3 equal to negative 100 x2 minus x3 we got 100 and negative x2 plus x4 is equal to negative 400 and from this linear system we can augment matrix and the matrix we got is 1001 I'm sorry 100 negative 1 equal to 100 negative 1010 negative 100 0 1 negative 1 0 100 0, negative 1, 0, 1, equal to negative 100. After our better matrix, we need to solve it by using Gaussian elimination, elimination method. And we got 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 100. 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 100. 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0. And 0, 0, 0, 0. Since the fourth zero is zero row, the matrices is infinitely many solution matrices. Therefore, we assume X4 is more than zero because the highest lowest number is zero. And if X4 is equal to negative 100, the output will lead to a zero. Thus, we can conclude that X4 is more than zero and X4 is 
any real number. In conclusion, we could conclude from this topic that linear algebra is very important in our daily lives. Linear algebra can be used in engineering application such as road constructions and side swaps. In intersections, we also can use linear algebra to find a number of individual using a single intersection. This means that safety at each intersection is ensured at all time. We can assume that there are many methods of linear algebra that can be used to solve a certain problem in our everyday lives, such as Gaussian and Gauss-Jordan elimination methods. This project is also to prove that linear algebra can be used in our lives to solve the complicated problems we face every day. That's all from me. Thank you.